for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. From Quicken Loans Arena, tonight, the Cleveland Cavaliers taking on the Houston Rockets. The Rockets begin the game with the basketball. Jay, last year, Rockets 65-17. and 17. Good for number one record in the West. What's going to be good enough this year for the Rockets to get to the NBA Finals? Well, you need CP3 to be healthy. If he's healthy, you can make an argument that the Rockets may have won the Western Conference Finals against the Golden State Warriors. But also, I, I think James Harden needs to continue to build on his play in the playoffs in particular. Everybody knows about how great he was during the regular season. But those last six games against the Golden State Warriors, he really struggled from the three-point line. He shot 37% during the regular season. He shot 20% in the Western Conference Finals. Cleveland has the basketball. Driving right to the basket. From the painted area, won't go down. Goes to the left side. James Harden fires for two. James Harden, two for two. That's what you want. Sometimes it looks like he's not locked in, but think otherwise. Uh, let's be honest. Sometimes he is not locked in when the ball isn't in his hands. But do you need James Harden to be locked in 100% of the time? No, you need him to be locked in 95% when he has the ball in his hands. That's when something spectacular is going to happen offensively for your team. Ball into the front court. Leads four. Shot from the lane, won't go. Smith now into the front court. He'll run the offense. Here comes the screen. Nothing going here on that drive. The drive right to the basket. Smith to Colin Sexton. Here's a chance from long range. Cleans it up. Nice touch around the basket with the tip. Great job using that shoulder to create contact with the defender without hesitation. It's Paul for two. Wide open look, won't go. He missed that shot on his own. The defense didn't do anything on that play to make him miss. Off the assist. Are you ready for another fun fact about the Houston Rockets? Let's do it. Okay, the team was established in 1967, was given the name the Rockets because San Diego was the home to many space-age manufacturers. When a team eventually moved to Houston, the name still fit, giving Houston's association with NASA. Wow, so Houston, we have a problem, all of that associated with space? Who knew? Are you saying that because Carmelo Anthony's in town? No, no, Apollo 13. Oh, okay. Here comes the screen. Harden. James Harden. Three for three. That's a perfect start. And in today's game, you have to make shots like that. Nice work draining it from deep. Sexton. Won't go down. Harden with the basketball. Leads just a point. And he's fouled. A trip to the line coming up. It's still early, so no real impact on that call. But you know that they're going to call this one tight, so you might want to keep your hands out of his pocket. First one goes down. Good free throw shooting. Knocks down a pair. Sexton. Here comes the screen. That's what you'd like to see off the pick and roll. Nice, easy basket. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's prob city. To Harden. Paul. To Harden. Going to launch beyond the arc. He made his first effort, but not that time. Shoot or shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. To Rodney Hood. Thompson. 
fine to shoot. Sexton to Rodney Hood. Beyond the arc for three. Hood, when he's open and when he's not, so dangerous. Not everybody possesses this power, but wow, what quarter awareness. And now Houston has the basketball. Oh, leaves the defender in the dust. Nice finish at the rim. You see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. Sexton, deep left corner. And the finish at the rim. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. Ball with it up top. They trail by two. Ooh, Chris Paul. He's two for five. Not great, but trending. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there, trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Colin Sexton slams it down. Mm, absolute stud, just flexing on them on both the defensive and offensive end. I don't know if we should call him the young bull anymore. He's maturing right in front of our eyes. Who left in Houston? Luke Bamute to the Clippers, Trevor Reza to Phoenix. So, Jay, how do the Rockets adapt without two key wing defenders this year? Well, other guys need to step up. I think you need to see P.J. Tucker step up. Gerald Green, we all know how explosive he is offensively, but he needs to make that applicable to the defensive end. Michael Carter-Williams is another big acquisition. He's a bigger guard who can use his length to deter shots. And also another kid, Markel Brown. He played at Oklahoma State. Extremely athletic, explosive on the perimeter. If these guys can do it by committee, that might be enough to eclipse the Golden State Warriors. Took it down the lane, but it's no good. Harden in possession. His team up by one. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. James Harden trying to cash in on a three-point play. Hasn't missed yet. The free throw, good. Caps off the three-point play. The lead is four. Cavaliers with the basketball. George Hill to J.R. Smith. No, I missed a short one there. And physicality is your friend. Don't let these guys get any easy ones down low. Make them look at the refs, wondering where the foul was every time. Tucker. Thompson to George Hill. George Hill missed his first. That one goes. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Harden in possession. Leads up pocket. Here comes the screen. Harden. To Paul. Harden. And he can't get it to go down. It's no good. Nance. To Rodney Hood. That's rebounded by the Cavaliers. Thompson. To Hill. And that's rebounded by Houston. Paul into the front court. The lead is two. To Harden. Oh, he had him there for a second. Well, he can't do that. A simple touch foul. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in. Three for six now. And all this talk I heard over the summer, what about CP3's hamstring? Will he be able to get back his first step? 
Will he still have it? <laughs> there you go. Hood. From long range, not a good shot there as he misses it. Gordon with it. They can get a two for one if they play this right. Nene to Paul. Yes, and a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Chris Paul at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 86% from the line. And he can't convert the free throw. The follow won't go either. And a lot of times in this league, teams take days off. But if this defense keeps maintaining that style of pace defensively, this is going to be a dogfight. Right, right. Fires the three. Like the toughness, but Colin Sexton off the mark. Chance for Paul. Ooh, Chris Paul. With that shot, he's five for eight. Yeah. It's rebounded by Gordon. One quarter down, the Rockets with the lead. 